Howdy guys, I'm Chet and today I'm going to be reading Potato Pants by Laurie Keller. I've never worn potato pants before so I'm very excited about this. Potato Pants. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. I call it the Pobot because I'm a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store is selling potato pants. The potato knows every tater in town will want a pair, so he's there early because like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. I want stripy pair just like the ones in the window with stripy suspenders for added stripiness, said the potato. What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about the eggplant who just walked in to Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store. What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Yesterday was Eggplant Pants Day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store now because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble. Yesterday, I was walking along minding my own potato -y business. Out of my way, said the eggplant. When he ran by, and he pushed me right into the trash can. If he sees me in Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store, he'll just push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. Oh, I just love my potato pants. We love ours too. Mine got polka dots and ruffles. Mine has big old pockets. Mine are kind of scratchy. I need some potato underpants. <laughs> potato is losing his patience waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's Fancy Pants store. What's taking him so long? And if yesterday was Eggplant Pants Day, why is he here on Potato Pants Day? Mmm, Potato Pants Day. That's ridiculous. Potatoes don't even wear pants. <laughs> this lady said that. I don't even know what she is. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Ooh, the grocery store. They have potatoes. Maybe they've got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way that to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have any potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are for made for like potatoes. We don't have potato pants. Well, maybe in your store you call them something like spud slacks or tater trousers or yam chaps. Any of those ring a bell? This potato is pretty silly. Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. No clothing here, just food. Oh, potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. Don't panic, I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. <gasps> only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? <gasps> what will a potato do now? Uh-oh, guys, he's in trouble. Potato pants! Only one pair left out of my way! Ooh, what a brave potato. He's not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the rack. Potato pants, here they, where are they, where are they? I need potato pants. Yikes, potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. <gasps> oh, look, he knocked Mr. Eggplant out of the way when he opened the door. Oh no, potato is too late. Where are they? <laughs> oh, it's a lady. Sorry, I got the last pair on the rack. Okay, okay. Potato, let's take a moment here, all right? Come on, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it. Think of puffy clouds. Inhale, ex. Oh, forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. Ah, that 
eggplant ruined everything. It's his fault I didn't get potato pants. He has brand new perfect eggplant pants, but I'm not totally pantsless. Now I'm totally pantsless. It's not fair. Oh, he's having a hissy fit. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore, said this person. You hit him with the door and they ripped all the way up the back. <gasps> you can see for yourself, here he comes. Oh, Potato, it's been nice knowing you, buddy. <gasps> I've been looking for you, Spud. <gasps> potato is scared. Oh, if he had Potato boots, he'd be shaking in them right now. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. <gasps> what? Oh, he's going to turn me into mashed potatoes. I'm here to apologize. <gasps> I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. <gasps> what? He's, he's, not, he's not turning me into mashed potatoes. Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He's the one that pushed me into the trash can. Er, but, oh, I did rip his brand new pants, his new eggplant pants. Oh, I don't know what to do. What do you think? Will Potato forgive that eggplant or not? I forgive you, eggplant. And, and I'm sorry for ruining your new eggplant pants. Excuse me, we can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be as good as new. And the sale is over so you can have the potato pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? <gasps> like them? Those are the ones he wanted with the stripes. I love them! Now that is one stripey potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants, besides their stripey stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants. Do, 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 do. Pobot pants. Eggbot pants. The end. <laughs> Look at all the different kinds of potato pants. You know what? I think I'm gonna go and get me some potato pants. Thanks for listening. Bye, Condios.